path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. In your mind, do you understand what an ideal day is? Have you heard of this before? Well, let's take a look together. All our days are supposed to be ideal, following the Lord saying, be perfect, be holy. But as a matter of practice, there could be what is called the perfect day. The perfect day has two directions, one negative in being far from any sin and the other positive in virtue and service. The program of the perfect day differs from one person to another. Some spend that day in worshipping, praying, reading, singing hymns, contemplating and fasting, in seclusion as much as possible. Others consider it a perfect day that is spent in doing what is good for others. Another group prefers a mixture of the two. Some concentrate on purity of the heart. They try their best not to sin, either by tongue or thought or action, no matter what the reasons are. Others prefer to start such a day by attending the Holy Mass and receiving the Holy Communion. Certain groups of servants take it as a practice where they all get together and they call it a spiritual day. The perfect day is offering one's complete self with the heart and the will for the work of the divine grace with keenness for self-control. The following are examples of what some practice on the perfect day can be. 1. God is to be the first one you talk to on that day by a deep, diligent prayer from the heart, as it is said, and those who seek me diligently will find me. 2. Praying all the hours in the Agbeya completely with understanding, depth and warmth. 3. Never uttering a sinful word or words that have no benefit. 4. Do not get angry with anyone and do not anger or sadden anyone. 5. Start every work with a prayer and through prayer work and talk. 6. Do your best to keep your thought pure. It would be better if you continually occupied your thought with spiritual work, such as spiritual reading, prayer and meditation. 7. Act in humility, gentleness, meekness and love with all. 8. Respect all and give preference to others over yourself. 9. Do not judge others, especially those who would not be idealistic like you on that day. And 10. Keep your heartly feelings pure and free from evil desires and emotions. If the day's experiment succeeded, repeat it as often as possible. Now go out there and keep your day an ideal and peaceful day. I hope you are still with us. Let's take a look at the following. Those passing years. How sad it seems those passing years from youth to elderhood. Sometimes we yearn to bring them back, those years if we just could. Life seemed so sweet and simple then, when we were 21. Our days were filled with ideal plans of how we'd get things done. With cares our minds weren't cluttered up, we lived just for the day. The trials and snares could set us back those thoughts we'd push away. But time is heartless, sometimes cruel. It wakes reality. It robs youth of its simple faith and ideality. With passing years, hard lessons come. Our odour starts to fade. We trade our zeal for cautious doubt. In weariness, we wade. We muddle through our middle years and life becomes a chore. Each day pumps up against the next and joins the other before. As years roll over us, 
like wheels and age we can't outrun. We shy away from unknown paths, uncertainties we shy. The passing years we can't recoup, that's true, those years are gone, but we can use the wisdom gained and gracefully march on. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, you did not waste your time, nor the blessed days you spent here on earth, but each day meant something for you, and you spent it wisely. Help me, Lord, to keep all my days holy in you, and spend them in purity. Amen.